Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, and in this video, I'm going to be telling the story of Olivia Newton John's breast cancer journey according to the sources that are available in the wider public domain. After 30 years since her first diagnosis, Olivia Newton John has died of metastatic breast cancer at the age of 73. The musician and actress is probably best known playing the role of Sandy in the 1978 movie musical Grease, which was a smash box office hit. It also gave Newton John three huge hit singles, including You're the One That I Want and Summer Nights, both performed with co star John Travolta. Newton John started off as a singer, and in 1974, she actually represented the UK in the Eurovision Song Contest, coming in fourth with the song. Long Live Love. ABBA won that year with Waterloo. She had also won four Grammys and achieved global success with her singing. Olivia Newton John was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992 when she found a lump in her right breast. This happened the same weekend as when her father also died of cancer. When asked how she coped with this all, she said, I think we compartmentalize things, deal with what we have to do. I had so little sum to mourn. She admitted how scary it was as well. All of this was overwhelming. It was a feeling of dread and terror of the unknown, she said of her diagnosis. But a friend was there to lift her out of that mindset. And she ultimately made a decision that I was going to be okay, she explained. My daughter was the most important thing in my life and I had to be okay for her. You have to follow your own heart and your own instincts when it comes to your own cancer treatment and cancer journey. Her treatment involved having a radical modified mastectomy and immediate reconstruction followed by nine months of chemotherapy. She also incorporated meditation, acupuncture and massage therapy into her recovery plan. I got through it pretty well, apart from chemo brain, which is pretty much when you get fuzzy in the head, she said. Olivia Newton-John was born in England, specifically in Cambridge. Her grandfather, Max Bourne, was a Nobel Prize winning physicist and good friends with Albert Einstein. Her father was a former MI5 agent who worked on the Enigma project at Bletchley Park. She moved with her family to Melbourne, Australia when she was six years old. In 2013, she was involved in a minor car accident. She noticed a lump in her right shoulder that she initially thought was a bruise following the accident. This turned out to be metastatic breast cancer, where the cancer has spread to her shoulder. She didn't share this with the public until her third diagnosis in May 2017, when she found out that her cancer had spread to the lower part of her back. This all happened while she was on tour, and a statement from May 30th, 2017 on her Facebook page said, Olivia Newton-John is reluctantly postponing her June US and Canadian concert tour dates. The back pain that initially caused her to postpone the first half of a concert tour has turned out to be breast cancer, that has metastasized to the sacrum. The cancer's return in 2017 was, she says, not unexpected. It's been a part of my life for so long. I felt something was wrong. It's concerning when it comes back, but I thought I'll get through it again. The cancer spread resulted in her fracturing the base of her spine. And so she had to learn to walk again through rehabilitation. I was so weak. I had a walker, a cane and crutches, but now I'm walking around. Her bone metastases had caused her significant pain and she became an advocate of the use of cannabis oil in order to alleviate her symptoms. So what is metastatic breast cancer? This is when the primary breast cancer travels or metastasizes to other parts of the body. Breast cancer has a tendency to spread to the lung, liver, brain, and also the bones, which was the case for Olivia Newton-John. When the disease spreads, it is also known as stage four breast cancer or secondary breast cancer, which although it can be treated, it is not curable. The aim of treatment is to minimize the growth and further spread of the cancer, as well as to alleviate any symptoms that may be caused by the spread. For Newton-John, the cancer has spread to her bones, causing discomfort. Around 30% of all breast cancers will eventually spread to other parts of the body. And whilst outcome following breast cancer treatment continues to improve, it is estimated that there are around 170,000 women in the US who are currently living with incurable stage four breast cancer. Breast cancer unfortunately can come back years after the first diagnosis. 
And that is why it's really important to continue to be breast aware, not only by regularly examining the breast or chest wall, but also to continue to be mindful and alert of anything that doesn't feel right. Check out this video where I have explained about all the signs and symptoms of metastatic breast cancer disease. When asked about how she was coping with the diagnosis, Newton John said, denial is really healthy. It was consuming by day. And after some time I went, you know what? I don't know what my life is, but I do need to enjoy my life. So I'm gonna eat a cookie if I want it. And I'm gonna have a cup of tea if I want it. And I want to have a little bit of wine, then I'm going to do that. As a result of her cancer diagnosis, Newton John became committed to cancer research that led to the creation of the Olivia Newton John Cancer Wellness and Research Centre in Australia in 2015. Here, she advocates for a holistic approach to treating the disease. Newton John continued to be passionate about breast cancer awareness. I don't know what I would be without it now, she ponders. I see it as my life's journey. It gave me purpose and intention and taught me a lot about compassion. It has been a gift. I don't wish it on anyone else, but for me, it's been important in my life.